Hello everyone, this is Anthony Endure, the comic surfer and contributing writer to Fanboy Factor, and I'm here with the Laser Man. Hi everybody, my name is Laser Man, the world's first Indian American superhero, New York's brightest, master of light, champion of diversity, and I'm here with Fanboy Factor. Factor! Fanboy Factor today, and we're gonna give you a great interview, so here we go. All right, so with Laser Man, I mean, this is a character that you've also have written and illustrated. What was it like having to bring this character to life? Well, the character was alive before I created him. Mm -hmm. He was in me, mm -hmm. and I just had to bring him out. In 1985, I was 12 years old, and mm -hmm. that year, I saw everything that had to do with comics. Uh, Dark Knight number one came out, mm -hmm. um, Mouse came out, The I was in... London, I was just uh, talking to the guys at 2000 AD, I saw my first 2000 ADs, uh, the Apocalypse War, Judge Dredd, all that stuff, it was awesome. So under these conditions, when I saw all the comic book characters and all the other superheroes in all the world, I saw all of them, and, but none of them really reflected me. Mm -hmm. So I had to create one that reflected my experience. And I created him when I was 12. The character is 17 years old right now. And I'm much older than that, obviously. Right. But uh, I think that uh, I became the character over time rather than the opposite way around. Interesting. Yeah. So as an illustrator, I mean, since you've been working on this for so many years, I mean, <laughs> what has it been like having, because you've had a show, and I believe the, uh, the Philip Gallery? Uh, very recently, I was um, I was showed at Philippe Le Bon, which is uh, the premier location for comic book art in New York City. It's right on West Twenty Third Street. It's in the heart of Chelsea, so it's in you know actual art territory, which is great, and that tells you a lot about comic books and uh, and comic book art these days. You know, the, the whole world has come around, and so even though I created him in 1985. The world wasn't ready for the first Indian American superhero at that time. Right. You know, in fact, I was uh, I was asked to be on a panel at um, the Black Comic Art Festival mm -hmm. when in 2018, I think it was, when the Black Panther movie had just come out. Mm -hmm. And here I was, a little laser man, a little tiny light in the shadow of the big Black Panther. Mm -hmm. And I just say, "Hey, look, I'm over here." But they did notice me, you know, because I'm a tiny light, but I'm very, very bright. It's great, it's great. So now I have to ask this when it comes to the issues that you've worked on, because you have issue one, you have issue two, and you have issue three that's coming up pretty that's soon. That's right, that's right. So what is it about issue three that you're very proud of so far in the saga of Laser Man? Well, uh, for all my fans, uh, I'd like to say that um, you've got all the great artistry that you've come to know and expect from Laser Man. It's all hand-painted with watercolor, all hand-lettered. I'm introducing 13 new supervillains in issue three. They're called the International Organization of Morticians. Mm. They're like the Illuminati for the 21st century. Mm -hmm. They run the world because they stand the most to gain from people dying. Mm -hmm. Their theme or their, uh, their catchphrase is push the body bags. Mm -hmm. And that's what they do all day, every day. Just 24 7, 365, just death. <laughs> Nothing else on their mind. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering, like, when it comes to actually like creating these kind of stories or whatever, especially for the, the, the supervillain group, uh, where do you get that inspiration from? Like, what do you look to when, you, when you're reading, making the stories? Well, if you know about the original hit superheroes from the golden age of comics, mm -hmm. the silver age of comics, they were created and uh, invented as a response to the evils of society mm -hmm. that, were, that were prevalent all around during the Great Depression, during the Second World War, during the turbulent 60s and so on. Mm -hmm. And my character has that same kind of uh, social uh, justice message. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so the villains that he faces are the obstacles to his own development. Mm -hmm. The objective of Laser Man is enlightenment. Mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the uh, Eastern philosophical sense, in the, in the intellectual sense, and in, in, the, in the literal physical sense, because mm -hmm. he is the light. Right. And, uh, and so these obstacles to enlightenment are, are internal, and the, 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 the characters, the bad guys that he faces are all reflections of these, these negative aspects that are happening within him that he has to conquer. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to say, first of all, it's a privilege to be able to speak to you and to see you again after some period of time, whatever. Where should we see Laser Man next? Well, uh, Always, as always, check out lasermancomics.com. Mm -hmm. uh, my comic is uh, for sale in many comic book stores around New York City and around the world. 
Uh, I just completed a major tour of Europe uh, where I went to London, Amsterdam, uh, Berlin, uh, all over Europe. It was, it was awesome. And so uh, for the moment, it's all grassroots and self-published, but I'm on the road to finding a publisher and you'll be uh, seeing a lot more of Laser Men in the near future. Awesome. Thank you for the time, man. Hey, it was great. My pleasure. Thank right, you. Say hello to everyone.